1 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 4 and 5. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when ye are gathered together in my spirit with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, to deliver such a one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Uh, I read that, and uh, it stuck with me starting about 40 years ago. And uh, my interpretation back then was that uh, they were praying that this guy would die. But since then, people have brought it to my awareness that maybe it's not all the way death. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> Could be. I don't think it would be mean uh, to pray that, that somebody die if that's what it takes to get their, their spirit to be saved. That the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. It means if, if you don't care about their spirit being saved, you just may not even pray uh, at all that their flesh be turned over to Satan. You don't care. You know, you don't care if they have a, a pretty decent life on the earth and then die and go to hell. You don't care. <laughs> That's not love. No, it's love if somebody's uh, doing something. Now, he was uh, having sex with his father's, uh, we're guessing, you know, uh, that he got remarried or something to a younger woman. But uh, who knows? All right. This is his father's, his father's wife. And, um, but there are, there, my point is, there are other people who need to have their, their flesh destroyed to whatever extent. There are people on the earth that are not Christians. This fellow was a Christian, you know. So it has something to do with a, a, a church uh, punishment or whatever. But uh, if we love everybody, love your neighbor as yourself, you know, love your, lo love your nation, then you, you would know that there are some people who are evil, extremely, extremely evil, doing evil things every day, harming, harming, harming people. And, and probably some of them for sure have a seared conscience, okay? Now, if they have a seared conscience, it means that they've done something uh, so horrible uh, or, or they used to know the Lord Jesus and rejected him and now they've trampled under foot the blood of Jesus and they cannot get saved. That's, a, that's what a seared conscience means. They cannot get saved. It's impossible for them to get saved. And if they're just doing evil every day, well, then uh, it would do them good to, to uh, die early. Do them good. That'd be love to the person that's doing evil because the more evil you do, you know, the worse your hell gets. This is uh, somewhere it's uh, more tolerable than uh, Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than uh, Capernaum, I think. Anyway, there there are levels of hell. There's levels of heaven. And people are, are as they live on the earth, their determination for hell is getting deeper, 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 deeper. It's love. It is love. It is love. To uh, if you're a sword bearer, you know you have uh, you're kind of a military-minded person, if you will. To uh, rise up and uh, do the right thing in love, and like John the Baptist teaches, you know, don't do anything in violence. Okay, so you take them out without violence. Now I I propose the Mission Impossible style that you make a mask of their face first and then get rid of the body. You know, maybe dissolve it in the bathtub or whatever. But we gotta, we gotta do some good on the earth by getting rid of some people that are evil with a seared conscience. Gotta do it. Love ya. Bye.